Pelfrey broken up by Randall. Patino can't stop it. He has no timeouts left. Well, the crowd says it all here at Allen Fieldhouse. They're loving it. Checks out 11 of 17 shooting. They'll quiet down for Jeff Gelder to shoot the free throws. He makes it 140 to 90. Todd Alexander will replace Jeff Gelder. It's a 50 point spread for the Jayhawks. Gellner, 10 rebounds, a career high, 19 points, and he checks out with five assists. Cooper inside, and Malcolm Nash flies down the loose ball, but stepped on the sideline as he did. He belonged to Kentucky. The Jayhawks, 62% shooting today, 50 out of 81. Freeman West saved it in. Rasa has it taken away by Wagner. Here comes Adonis. Looks to West. This crowd may not go home today. Oh, what a pass. Oh, what a pass. Adonis Jordan at the strike. He was fouled before the basket went down, and Adonis can't collect it. But the follow-up won't go. And Nash may have been. Now he lost it out of bounds underneath. Now Kentucky may suffer their worst defeat in history. Their biggest margin of defeat ever in school history is 39 points, 89 to 50, back in the NIT against CCNY back in 1950. Nash passed it out of bounds off the leg of Pelfrey. The most, the most points an opponent has ever scored against Kentucky is 116. That one's been blown out of the barn a long time ago. West, to Adonis. Nine players in double figures for the Jayhawks. Alexander, back to Adonis. He's going to fire for three. Hey, does this club look like number one in the land? There's about 16,000 people packed in here that'll tell you so. <laughs> 2.15 to play. Kansas by 56. Freeman West has Miller in front of him. Goes to Nash. Back to Freeman. Thought about three. Nash inside. And he's fouled by Parks. The Jayhawks and score 40 points inside the paint. That's the blue part of the floor in the second half alone. This crowd has been deafening here about the last five minutes. They're not going to go home tonight. <laughs> they may stay and party all night long. This thing was over at halftime when KU had it 80 to 61. to win a little bit when they see the score will be Pepperdine, Kansas' next opponent. That's been a long afternoon for Rick Pitino. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're right, Pepperdine. They got a week hope some of this wears off. 
Kansas uh, and the Big Eight establishing a little bit of dominance today. Michael Parks and West with another rebound. Clears everybody out of his way with 145 left. That's on the way. Kentucky can stop this. Tony Cooper. Have a break in the action with 145 left. We'll be right back. Jordan at the free throw line. Makes it 149 to 90. He hits a second. And we'll have our, our 18th crowd roar of the day. And he's fouled by Nash and fouled hard. Well, this is going to be one of those games, Jim Brasiano, that uh, 25 years from now, about 30,000 people are going to claim they were here when they saw Kansas score 150 points against Kentucky. And there's about 15,000, about 16,000 people packed in here. Now the chant, we're number one, comes up. Title Syracuse owns right now. Man, I'm sure they like to see this thing go to a 70 point spread. Roy Williams. Roy Williams talking to the crowd right now. I don't know what he was telling them. They're not number one, number two. Three Midwest. Back to Jordan. Some of the fans start to beat the traffic. Still 120 left. Kirk Wagner. Kicked in by Malcolm Nash. Cooper. And he lays it in. With a whistle. I think they may have stopped action here. All the players were standing around on that, and they'll re-inbound it. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but uh, Kansas players acted like play had stopped, and indeed it had. Well, so about three out of the Kentucky players, three out of the five stopped, too. I wonder if they should add some more seconds to the clock. It may have been Patino's ploy to use his timeout so he wouldn't have to just <laughs> late in the game and let it roll. That's a strong move to the hole. A whistle and a foul. They're going to call him for a charge. Yes. Going to be four on him. Freeman West took it. It's 150 to 91 Jayhawks. The KU fans want that 60-point margin of victory. Malcolm Nash. Kansas uh, has 70 points here in the second half. They had 80 in the first half. It's going to be a tough one to beat, Bob Moon. West shot won't go. Tapped around. And Jeff Brasso comes up away with the basketball. Shot clock is off at 35 seconds now in the game. Hell free. A loose ball out of bounds. Belongs to Kentucky. Well, the officials kind of just letting things go here. Well, we'll see Coach Patino come to the uh, center court after this ball game. I don't know. It'll be interesting. He may just take off. Richie Farmer won't go, and Nash clears it away. Malcolm's done a good job coming in here late. Final three minutes of his ball game, and he's been all over the court. Adonis is picked by Cooper. And Adonis lets Cooper take the layup. Full length pass to Wagner, has West behind him, drops it off to Freeman, and a charging call against Kirk Wagner. Well, to wrap things up for you, the Jayhawks led it 80 to 61 at halftime. They're shooting 61% on the afternoon, 82% from the free throw line.